He was up-tempo, he was an A personality, he was gregarious, he was charming. As a challenge to an investigator, he rated very, very high. And he was not a violent man. He wouldn't have hurt anybody. We had no problem stealing from the rich and uh, enjoying that. What I really liked about him was this. He's so romantic. He seemed to be the type of person that needed to do the impossible and then make sure that he got caught so that he could tell everybody that he did it. Even though he wasn't educated and he educated himself in jail, he was still a tinker. Criminal mastermind or just an amiable sociopath who didn't know his limits? Bear in mind, Ken Leishman did an awful lot of time in prison. Everyone who met Ken Leishman seemed to like him. Even his victims. Even the cops. Even when he pulled off the biggest gold robbery in Canadian history, and then led the biggest jailbreak in Manitoba history. He lived for drama, until the drama caught up with him. And in the end, he was a genuine hero. Despite his life of crime, his only serious victims were his family, especially the woman who stood by him for more than a quarter century. Through it all, he was a favorite of the media because Whatever else he was, Ken Leishman was always entertaining. You were known by the police and by many of us who read newspapers and things as the guy who got on an airplane from Winnipeg. I don't know why I'm laughing. I want to explore that <laughs> yeah, in a right. moment. <laughs> got on an airplane in Winnipeg, checked into a Toronto hotel, correct me where I'm wrong, went down to, the, to a bank, said, give me $10,000. Took out a loan, yes. Took out a loan yeah. with a gun to the manager's head. Oh, yeah, that's right, too. Let's forget that. In another interview, Leishman will describe himself as underqualified and overambitious. <laughs> 